Okay, so today we're going to look at how you repair programs on your computer. Now, if you find a program won't load or it's given you problems, this guide is going to show you how you can repair it. Stick around, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide is going to show you how you can repair a program on your computer. If it's misbehaving, if it's just not loading whatsoever, this is going to show you. So with Adobe at the moment, Acrobat, if I try loading it, I just get this fatal error come up and can't really do anything with it. So the best thing to do, first of all, is to try restarting your computer because this can sometimes solve these problems. Not always, but it's worth a try. It's a quick fix. So click on the start button, click on the power icon and click restart. Do not click shut down. Do not click sleep. Actually click restart because restart will restart all the services, the drivers, and it will clear up a lot of things, which which the shutdown and the sleep won't do. So click restart, let the computer restart and then try again. So my computer's just restarting and let's give it a go. Let's just see if it loads, but no, still doesn't load. Anyway, worth a try. So the next step is to click on the start button, go to settings, and then once you're in settings, what you want to do is you want to go to apps just over there on the left, click on that, go to installed apps, click on that, and then now it should build up a list of all programs and apps that are available on your computer. Once it's built that up, find the app or the program that you want to try and repair. Then click on the three dots just to the right of it and then click modify. Now, if you don't have a modifier or your modifier is grayed out, then stick around. I'm going to tell you what to do in a moment on that. So uh, let's click modify and then you'll get something similar to this come up, a wizard come up. So just follow the instructions on the wizard until you get to a screen where it offers you the opportunity to repair. Now, again, if you don't have the opportunity to repair, stick around. So I've, I in this program have got the chance of selecting repair. So select that, click next and just follow any instructions on the screen. It might take a few moments because what it's going to do is it's going to over install the program and it's going to repair any missing or corrupted files hopefully. So it could take a few moments just be patient with it. And there we are. It says setup completed. So it's now finished repairing. So click finish. Let's just close this down by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner. And let's try it loading Adobe again. So let's click on that. And yep, now it has loaded. But what if you don't have the modify option, then have a look through my videos. I have done a video on modern apps and how to repair them. If you find though you've got modify there, but it's grayed out, then what we've got to do is really the next step is to reinstall the app. So download it again and reinstall it over the top. So what we do is we come out of this here. We then go to the website of wherever we got our app. So in, for instance, if I was reinstalling Chrome, say I know on a few systems I've had it recently where Chrome just doesn't load. You click on Chrome and nothing comes up. So anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to download Chrome again. So I'm going to go to the website where I can find Chrome and let's just go to download Chrome just there. And I'm going to open the setup file or I go into download, so I go into any yellow folder, go into downloads and open it from there. Double click and again, just follow the instructions on the screen. If it comes up, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Make sure you click yes. If the app is running, then close it down or restart your computer if it complains that the app is running, you can't see it running and then try this again. But as you can see, it's now downloading the app and it's going to reinstall it over the top. Hopefully by doing this, it should keep all of our settings. So there we go. It says download complete and now it's going to start installing. 
So once it's installed, then just follow any instructions on the screen if anything pops up to complete the installation. And there you go, as you can see, my Google Chrome has just opened. In some cases, it might say it's finished installing and uh, you might just have to open it manually. But in this case, it's opened automatically. But what if installing over the top still hasn't worked? What if it's still not working? Then what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna have to uninstall the app and reinstall it. So click on the Start button, click on Settings, go to Apps over there on the left and then go to Installed Apps. Wait for the apps list to build up, OK, and then find the app that you want to reinstall. So let's just go down to Google Chrome again. I know it worked, but say it didn't work. We click on the three dots and then click on Uninstall and then Uninstall again. Now, unfortunately, this is probably going to lose our settings. There's a chance it might not but most of the time when you uninstall, it's likely to lose the settings. Sometimes when you're uninstalling, you might get this come up. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Make sure you click yes. It, and also sometimes when you're uninstalling apps, it might also ask you, do you want to retain the data? So if so, then say yes to it. If once you've reinstalled it, it still doesn't work, then perhaps go back through and say no to retaining the data because it might be a corruption somewhere in your settings or your, your, your profile as such, and that might well clear it. So now I've removed Chrome, we've got to reinstall it. So I'm just gonna go to my browser and let's download it again. Let's go to the website. And like I say, this should work with any app. I'm just using Chrome as an example here. But uh, let, let's download it again. So download. And then what we do is once it's downloaded, we're going to go into the downloads folder. So let's just go into any yellow folder, then go to downloads. So once it's downloaded, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut everything down and I'm going to click on the start button, click on the power logo and click on restart. Make sure you restart. This is going to refresh a lot of things, whereas sleep and shutdown doesn't. So do a restart. And then what we're going to do is we're going to reinstall the program after the computer's restarted. So there we are. My computer's restarted. So let's go into a yellow folder, go into downloads and then Let's just double click the file that we downloaded, the Chrome setup. So you double click whatever you've just downloaded. If it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, click yes, and then follow any instructions on the screen. Okay, so my Chrome's just finished installing and it's booted up. But like I say, if you've downloading another app, it might well want you to confirm and it might want you to, uh, to, to then manually open the app from the apps list on your computer. So there it is, there's my Google Chrome, and yep, it does open. But what I need to do is really, once I've got it working, I can go back into the downloads folder and I just need to delete the setup file that I installed just to keep things a little bit tidy. So click once on the setup file that you downloaded earlier and then click on the bin and that will disappear. And then for good measure, if you want, you can always empty the recycle bin just by right clicking on the recycle bin and then left click empty recycle bin. So there you go. There's a few different ways that you can repair apps or programs on your computer. I hope one of these ways helped you. If it did, then consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. If you're in the market for a VPN or want to have a look through my Amazon shop or looking for a Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube or Fire stick accessories, we've got some great links in the description for you. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to spend more time researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family, Family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X, formerly known as Twitter, at CWTEK, or have a look at my website, CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.